What's up there, YouTubers? We have the Savage 17 HMR today, otherwise known as the Savage 93R17. Um, I have the non-bull barrel version. In fact, it's the standard version, the most standard version that you could ever see. There we go. We got Savage right there. And, um, well, basically, it's still pretty dang accurate. Let's start off with accuracy because that's what everyone wants to get to. Um, got the Savage 17 HMR here, and we are using Hornady 17 grain VMAX ammo, and we are at my 100 yard range. Um, I have 10 rounds of it. This is the 10 round magazine that is questionable on reliab uh, reliability, but uh, let's get to it. 100 yards, I'm gonna do two five shot groups. Let's go, Savage 17 HMR. And we're clear, that's 10 rounds. Um, let's go see what we did down range. Um, at 100 yards, I have a paper here. At 100 yards, we get these kind of groups. Um, right there, that's a little over two inch group at 100 yards with a severe flyer right there. Um, if you don't count in the flyer, it's still like an inch and a half. And then we have a bottom group shot down here, this is at 100 yards, and you see that's a little over an inch, and then if you include this one, it's still at about an inch and a half um, from center to center, a little bit more there, but you're expecting about an inch and a half to two MOA. So that is accuracy on the 17 HMR using Hornady 17 grain VMAX ammunition. Now. What accessories on the gun? What did I do there? Um, I got the KRG bolt handle, as KRG bolt knob, I should say, as nothing fancy has showed. And his, right there. Um, yeah, that is the KRG bolt handle. I still have the original box. Kinetic Research Group. Um, it helps a lot. It's pretty awesome for what it is. I mean, it's fairly cheap. I think it was like 30, 40 bucks. Can't really remember. I bought it my senior year of high school, um, and I want to compare that to, I made one my high school year on my Savage Mark II. Notice how I go with Savage on most of my bolt action rifles, um, except Mosin's, obviously. But here's one I made by myself on a lathe, and I welded that on there <laughs> out of some mild steel. I made that um, in high school, and it still works till this day. There's the KRG, there's mine. Not too shabby, I'd say. Um, sketchy, yes, but this is a beat up old rifle um, as far as my Savage Mark II goes, not the 17 HMR. Um, and then I also threaded the barrel myself. Not the greatest idea, but I can use this brake. This actually was originally on it. I have a photo of that somewhere. Um, but I swapped it out because I actually like this better on the 22 pistol. Um, not saying there's any recoil on a 22 pistol, but this makes sure there's absolutely no recoil. Um, and I have a 3x9 scope, the standard Bushnell that came with it, and that's what I used on this project. I used it um, off a bench, off the back of a four-wheeler um, to do the accuracy testing. Ultimately, it came with a 5-round magazine. I got a 10-round magazine. And the 10-round magazine feeds kind of funny. You have to, like, wiggle it, and then it feeds, whereas my 5-round magazine does not. Um, the trigger is adjustable, from what I understand. Testing the trigger breaking point, you bring in the small IQ trigger, and it's about a 3-pound trigger. And it's just crisp like that. It moves like a millimeter. And... Um, well, I don't adjust it. I think it's already set 
I can't remember the factory specs on it, but um, it's like two and a half, three pounds. It's it's pretty light, um, in stock condition. Uh, the barrel is free floated. Um, from the looks of it, it doesn't touch anything, which makes it free floated. Um, and then I just attached a bipod onto it. Um, it attaches on normal sling mounts. No Picatinny rails on this one. And this gun I kept pretty stock, except for the on the bolt I blued it only because I wanted an entirely black gun, and that's what I got. Um, so ultimately, I would say if you guys are looking for a small game gun that packs a little bit more of a punch out to, I'd say, 200 yards. I've tried shooting at 400 yards with this thing. Um, I can actually hit stuff easier with my 22, not the pistol, but the rifle, easier than I can with those because they just don't keep their energy being the 17 grain bullet that they are. I do like the 20 grain bullets, but that's for another day. They're almost impossible to find, at least in my area. Um, and ultimately, if you're looking for a, this is about $300 gun. It's another thing, price. Um, I think I paid 300 flat for it. I think it was like 308 at the end of the day. Um, no pun intended there. And uh, <laughs> it's it's ultimately a good gun. It's accurate for what you want it for. Um, for about 50 extra bucks, you can get the bowl barrel version. And, um, I just wanted something cheap, honestly, but the bull barrel versions will probably produce sub MOA to one MOA. Um, I could easily see that, but this is, this is accurate enough for me. This just, just, it does just fine. One and a half to two MOA. I'm not complaining about that. So, um, this is LCS Town and I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Once again, accuracy is one and a half to two MOA. Um, stick with the five round magazines in my experience. And the gun is accurate and cheap, and if that's what you're looking for, this is a great hunting rifle and plinker. Um, LCS Town out. You guys remember to have a great day and a great life. Oh, what a beautiful rifle. Aye, aye, aye! What are you doing? Get off of there.